Greetings and welcome to the Northmen. And behind me you see the beautiful fjords. What do you mean there's no green screen? Oh, fine, it's a hotel room. But anyway, uh, when I find myself in a situation like this, when I'm alone and I have some spare time, I want to relax with maybe a game, a solitary game. And usually I've been using uh, Fridays from uh, Friday from Freedom of Lisa. Uh, it's a nice deck building game, which I highly recommend. I have a review of it, just check the links below. Uh, but this time, he came out with a new solitaire game. And I'm not the biggest Friedman Fries fan, uh, I should say, but his uh, solitaire game, I really enjoy. So when he comes up with this one, finished, uh, I was really excited, uh, because I really enjoyed Friday. And this one seems to be quite puzzly as well. So let's find out is, if finished is... Uh, right fit for me and if I can finish it. So inside the box you find a glossary. It's just a small page of what the, all the icons on the cards do. Uh, 48 cards that you're going to solve. Seven cups of coffee or java or tea or whatever you want it to be, whatever gets you through the, the, your work. And a lot of candy in different colors and the color doesn't matter but it's pretty. And of course, the rules. Uh. The setup is super simple. You take all the coffee cups here, three candy here, the rest there, and you shuffle these. And you want to shuffle them very well because at the end of the game, you have sorted them from 1 to 48. And if you do so, you are awarded with a great animation. So, let's check out the animation. So what do you think about the animation? It's the greatest invention since sliced bread, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not the best, but it is there, so... When playing the game, you want to hold the deck in your hand, because you're going to draw from the top a lot, and you're also going to add to the bottom a lot. So having it like this, it also says in rules to hold it in your hand, it really makes it easy to manipulate and to play the game. So, do this. So, make sure you shuffle it good, real good, because if, if it's sorted, well, you don't want to have it sorted already, because then you game, the game would be too easy. And since I only have one hand, I'm not going to hold the deck. But the game is like this. Uh, you have some spaces before you. This is the present, this is the future, and this is the past. And a space here for the finished deck. So on your turn, you draw three cards. So one, two, and three, like this. Now you want to re uh, rearrange these cards so that the lowest becomes like this, so you have an incrementing number. Uh, it's not required and maybe you shouldn't do it always because you want to manipulate these cards. For instance, I can now use a candy here, do like this. This means move a card into the future, like so. So now I have two cards. Uh, so when I finish my turn, I can maybe do this, to take things from the, the past to the present. I don't have it. But I want to use this and draw a card. Okay, 12. So I probably want to have this on this side then. Uh, as long as it's in the present, I can manipulate it. I cannot touch this one uh, or things in the past. Okay, my turn is over. I will add these to the past. This candy is discarded and I draw three new ones. So then this one will be added to the three ones I drew. That's the rules for this symbol here. Now, you have this one, the last card in the deck. This one says a coffee cup. When this card is moved to the past, I have to remove one of these permanently in the box. And if these are ever empty and you need to one more, you have lost the game. So you want to pay attention to cards you have in the past, pay attention to cards in the present and maybe in the future, and pay attention to the cards you have already shuffled through. So, for now, I'm gonna just, uh, I want, don't want this one yet, so, hmm, what can I do? Not much. I'm just, just gonna pass my turn. So, we take these to the past, remove all candy, then we make sure there's only three cards left in the past. So, we take this in the bottom, and this one below that one, and this one below that one, and so forth, until three remain. And now, I lose one cup of coffee, or java, or whatever, like this. And then I start with new cards. So, okay, this one gives me candy, it's great, and so forth. And that is how you manipulate the game. 
Now here's a two. Uh, if I had the one, it would be going in a pile here, and I would have to draw a replacement uh, immediately. And if I got a three, I added that one here, and four, and so forth, but only from the present. When this deck has reached 48, you have won the game. And that is finished. Uh, for me, I am finished with this game. I have never won it, I have lost it many times, and it's just not for me, I think. I appreciate the puzzly element that it is, but it's just a bit too puzzly for me, at least. So, uh, this is kind of a recommendation. If you think you're going to enjoy manipulating the deck and try to remember the order you put them in the previous rounds and uh, well, keeping the deck in order in your head and you kind of have a plan and kind of can control everything and you feel like you have control like I don't, I think you will enjoy this game. But I won't enjoy this game anymore. Because I, just, I just feel frustrated when I play it. Uh, I, I have control, I do what I want, but then I can't remember what I have in the deck from before because I just lose track of it. And maybe it is because the game lasts a bit longer than I appreciate. Uh, Friday I can finish in 30 minutes if I play efficiently. Uh, I can't with this one. It takes almost an hour for me to finish this game. And that kind of also makes it hard for me to take... Uh, to play in one session. <laughs> I usually have to uh, put w one deck, uh, the finished cards in one bag and the rest in another one, don't, don't shuffle it and continue later. Uh, because <laughs> for that solo style of game and after for this occasion, I want something simpler, I want something that gives me a bit, a better a compliment, a feeling of accomplishment, which I don't get in this uh, game. And the animation you get in the end is, uh, it's, it's there. But it isn't really anything special about it. So for me, uh, finished isn't uh, a good game. Uh, but I do appreciate all the effort that is made into the game. And I do appreciate all the things you can do to manipulate the deck. So I don't think it's a bad game, but it's just not good for me. It's a bad fit for me. So I think you should at least try it out before, uh, making a, uh, before deciding based on my opinion now. Because I think if you like to manipulate the deck and like to... Uh, Remember, uh, figure out how to solve it best, I think you might enjoy it. Anyway, that was it for uh, this time for the Northmen. <laughs> I hope you have uh, been informed a bit about this game from Stronghold Games. And, uh, well, until next time, I'm going to sleep. Yeah, good night. <laughs>